Well, I love technology. Uh, I'm not an expert, but I love living in the 21st century where there's just so many exciting new technologies being developed you know, every day. Um, I love reading about it. Um, you know, my iPhone is like magic. You know, I used to watch the old Star Trek and I feel like we have those devices that they had in the original Star Trek. Um, and my computer is like my most important possession. I carry with it everywhere with me. Um, obviously there are negative, you know, outcomes as well, you know, if we're too reliant on it, if we're not talking to each other because we're on our devices, uh, we see that all the time, but I, I think it, technology can definitely be a force for good. Certainly we could scale certain uh, uh, self-improvement programs or mental health treatment um, in, a, in a big way uh, if we, um, we embed them in technology, right? So it could be um, sort of a, someone we chat with on the, online, it could be an app that suggests you know, different uh, strategies that we use to make ourselves happier. Um, and this is something that sort of everyone can use. You know, we could have thousands, millions of people doing it. So before it used to be, you know, you had to go to a therapist. That was sometimes stigmatizing. It was expensive. It was inaccessible to a lot of people. It was inconvenient. Now we can have that therapist in our computer or in our phone, which I, I think is pretty amazing. I don't, I don't know the answer to that question because I think we have to really think outside the box because there's so probably so many different ways you can design that. I mean, as someone who studies well-being, there's so many different ways to become happier, right? You can do acts of kindness. So how can we use technology to encourage people to use acts of kindness? It could be an app on our phone. It could be some other something in our ear. Um, uh, facial recognition, like you know, get get a technology to for us to recognize when someone needs our support or when someone needs a smile. Um, uh, physical exercise makes people happier too. So all the technology we have now that helps us exercise more is going to also make us happier. So I just feel like there's just the possibilities are endless.